This is you. This is you compared to the Leaning Tower of Pisa. And this is the 110 meter tall, friendly yet terrifying monster that we call Godzilla. This creature would likely have several hearts, be able to feed off of radiation, and if he fell it would be the equivalent of an atomic bomb going off. Maybe that should be his secret weapon. I mean, if I were him, I would just go and fall on everyone that I wanted to kill. That would be a pretty epic way to go, though. I mean, everyone in heaven would be like, hey, how'd you get here? And I'd be like, Godzilla fell on me, okay? First off, this 55,000 ton creature is 8,500 times heavier than the heaviest land animal, the African elephant, weighing in at about six and a half tons. And Godzilla is also 289 times heavier than the largest animal ever, which is the blue whale, weighing in at about 180 to 200 tons. Godzilla is so massive that his feet would be crushed just trying to hold himself up. His bones would have to be made of some strong metal like tungsten in order to survive the crushing pressures and the high temperatures within his body. In fact, these internal body temperatures should be so hot that Godzilla should be melting, actually, which is really weird. This is because of his low surface area to volume ratio, meaning that his body cannot be cooled by the environment as fast as other animals. And these temperatures are raised also due to the fact that he kind of has a nuclear reactor in his body. This is what allows Godzilla to use his atomic breath. This theoretical ability is produced by Godzilla shooting out concentrated radiation out of his mouth. Now this might seem far-fetched, but we have these things called lasers, and they do pretty much the exact same thing. Except Godzilla's is just way cooler and blows up jet fighters while our lasers fix your eyes. Take that, Godzilla. Now a problem with this is that Godzilla's throat would burn from the radiation before it even hit its target. And it's also not feasible to have a nuclear reactor in your chest because, you know, that would cause things like death and such things. <coughs> Iron Man. So next on our list is how would Godzilla breathe? Now it's quite possible that Godzilla doesn't even have lungs, but for fun, let's just say that he does. The biggest known lungs are the blue whale lungs, of course, holding about 5,000 liters of air, but our friendly neighborhood Godzilla would dwarf that size, having lungs that would hold anywhere between 20,000 liters of air and 100,000 liters of air. That's the equivalent of about 2,000 gas tanks on your average car. Although it would be pretty damn cool if Godzilla did have lungs that big, it is more likely that he uses a gill and lung system to breathe. How else would he be able to stay underwater between movies? There are certain kinds of fish out there called lungfish, and yes, as you might expect, they have lungs and are fish. Meaning, yes, they can breathe with water and air so they can survive underwater and on land. But while Godzilla is on land, he's also getting bombarded with missiles, machine guns, bombs, anything that we can throw at him. So how can he survive these things without even getting a scratch on him? In the movies, they say it's because of Regenerator G1 cells, which don't exist, and of course some thick skin. But the thing is that Godzilla's skin would have to be a few feet thick and be made of something similar to Kevlar, which is what we use to stop bullets. To tackle Godzilla's regeneration problem, we do have these things called stem cells. Now even though stem cells do help with regeneration. They are nowhere near as fast as Godzilla's regenerator G1 cells. Now there are some animals that take advantage of these stem cells, including the planarian worms who regenerate so fast that they will never age. Anyways, that's all for now folks. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a comment if you want me to do some more science of Godzilla or science of anything science fiction. Just leave a comment of what you want me to do and I will try my best to make a video on it. Anyways, thank you for watching Jacksack.